What's the scariest thing you've ever seen? Your face without the mask. <laughs> But welcome to reacting to True Story Scary Animations Part 20. With the girlfriend, she's back, yeah, Sarah Caney. Hi guys. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a like because it's gonna really help out the channel. It lets me know that you like these videos. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Sarah. She's almost at 200K, let's get her there. Yeah. We did a video on her channel, first link in the description below, so go ahead and click it. Yeah, be a part of the, the avocado family. And we got that dang Matt Smith merch, yeah, in white. Oh yeah, you already know what time it. I don't know what time it is. I don't have a watch so um, anyway and lastly go ahead and comment down below something scary spiders scary pumpkins my face oh, oh no no not my face please don't comment my face <laughs> let's go ahead and jump right in to reacting to true story scary animations part 20 lego let's do it everybody get your blankets let's go something terrible just happened at my house you looked in a mirror at you when i was seven I had a really scary experience that I will never forget. I got up at 8 a.m., mm. as usual. But as I stood up, I noticed something was different. What? It was very cold, and I felt like someone was watching me. When I turned to my sister's bed, she woke up, and I screamed. <coughs> Two oh! here, one of an older woman with long, dark hair and it green eyes. Ew. The other of a bald older man with blue eyes. Grandpa? I screamed again and ran to my mother. Yeah. I told her what happened and saw some man at the door. I can't <gasps> recall what he looked like, but I screamed and hugged my mother when I saw him. I was crying at this point, and she looked at me as I pointed to the door, mm -hmm. not explaining why. She instantly knew what I was upset about, and she spoke in the direction of the door. I don't know what she said. What? I was just too scared to listen and all I wanted was to be somewhere else. Yeah. Nothing like this happened to me again, until I was 13. I was coming from my friend's house and was really tired. I went to my room, turned the lights off, and went to bed. At 4 a.m., I suddenly woke up without a reason. When I looked at the door, <gasps> I saw my mother looking at my sister. Oh. She had lifeless eyes which reminded me of the incident that happened when I was seven years old. That's her mom! The heads had the same lifeless oh. eyes as my mother. Dang. Except her eyes were red and just looked evil. Those are some crazy contacts. I knew it wasn't my mom. I hid under the blanket, praying that the thing would just go away. Mm -mm. When I looked up, it was still there. I prayed again. Mm -hmm. Then it vanished. I mean, literally vanished. I saw it with my own eyes. That thing grew fainter and fainter until I couldn't see it anymore. Mm. When it was gone, I ran to my parents and explained what happened. They believed me and said that if I couldn't go to sleep, I could watch TV or just stay up. Duh. I thanked them and went to the living room. Now, I'm 14, and I talked to my mother about the incident that happened seven years ago. And when I told her what the heads looked like, she seemed very surprised and confused. When I asked her what was wrong, she told me that the description I gave perfectly matched that of my dead grandparents. I knew it! I don't know if they were really my grandparents, or who that man <gasps> on the door was. No! Um, girl, move out the house! Isn't that a clue? That's a hint to get up on out of there if one creepy thing happens up in my house. If I hear one door creak, I am gone. I mean, I'll, I'll bring you to, I'll come back for you. No, but you but I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm getting up on out of there. He ditched me. Like at first, at first, to make sure that like we got like a safe location to go to. You know, I gotta scope out the location. I gotta get out the house first. You know, you secure your own mask before you secure uh, your child's. Or, or, Are you yeah. done? Yeah. I'm done. Not bad, not bad on the scale. One to poop your pants. Uh, maybe a seven and a half. Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna give that one an eight. That was, that was, that was creepy, it was creepy. I'll give it an eight. Their mom got some problems staring at them like that in the middle of the night. Mom, go to bed. Yeah, you know what? Maybe the mom was just like tired of her kids. She's like, I just hate y'all. Y'all just <laughs> suck. Get out of my house. You know, I mean, that's it. Or she was just hungry. You know, she just wants some food, that's all. Is that how I act when I'm hungry? Yeah, you just like, Mm, bagels, mm, <laughs> eggs, mm, bacon. But let's go ahead and move on to another one. Let's go! My scary little teddy bear. Are they talking about me? No. Hi, my name is Shay. Well, at least that's what everyone calls me. 
About 11 years ago, my mom, my big brother, and I moved from Mississippi to Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We were staying with my uncle and his wife and yeah. kids for a while until we got our own place. <laughs> About a month later, we found an apartment to stay in. I had a bunch of teddy bears that I really liked between I was 12 going on 13. Aww. Well, Looks like me. when we finished <laughs> to move our new house, I decorated my room really nice and I set my teddy bears on my shelf above my bed. Aww. A week later, I noticed one of my teddy bears would always go missing and I would find it under my brother's <gasps> bed. I thought he was taking my teddy bear just to freak me out, but he really had no idea what I was talking about. It was kind of weird. So I decided to lock all my bears in my closet. <laughs> they stayed in my closet for two days. Barbies! Everything was fine. That's what I thought until the third day after has been started. The third day, I woke up on a Saturday and my closet <gasps> door was cracked and my teddy bear was in the same place under my brother's bed. Dang! I knew something was wrong. After that, I immediately threw my teddy bears away after that. Mm -hmm. We stayed in that apartment for a year. After that, we moved. I'll never forget Dang. the day of was the move. We found bones in the fireplace from a human. Now I'm 23, and I still remember that day, but I always think, what if I sat up a video camera to see <gasps> what was causing my teddy bears to do what they did? Oh! <laughs> Oh. Well, girl, you need to go to bed. Jeez, that must have been Annabelle's teddy bear. What the heck? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, girl, you just need to go to bed. Just stay asleep, okay? The good thing is they moved out of that apartment. I mean, you know, when creepy stuff starts happening, quit investigating. Don't look under your bed. If something's broken, just wait till the morning and let your parents handle it. Well, at least she threw them away and then she grew up and it wasn't mm. bothering her anymore. Yeah, yeah, but what if she set up the video camera to see? What? what? Well, what if she was just imagining it because she was a little girl because now it's not happening anymore? Or what if she's crazy like me and then she just sees things all the time? Hey, how you doing? What? What? On the scale. Six. A six? Yeah. Dang. I mean, the very end was that was a scary face, mm -hmm. but yeah. Tough customer. I give it a six and a half. Teddy bears, you know, usually aren't that scary. There's not like a lot of demons out there that are like, mm, let me haunt this teddy bear. Possess the teddy bear. That'll get him. <laughs> How was my laugh? Good. Good. Okay, now we're gonna check out one more. Actually, one of my favorites that I've looked at before, but not with her. So we're gonna see what you think. With who? With me. Just it, like, I, it was by myself. I was watching it by myself, so, you know. Watching scary videos with other girls now? Yeah, like, I mean, if, you know, if anybody's watching who was watching with me when I watched it. Anyway, we're gonna check it out, we're gonna check it out. Here we go, here we go, are you ready? Fine. Let's do it. Okay, in three, two, one. The Smiling Man. <laughs> About five years ago, I lived downtown in a major city in the US. I've always been a night person. So I would often find myself bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to sleep. Mm -hmm. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend the time thinking. I spent four years like that, walking alone at night. Thinking about I never what? once had a reason to feel afraid. Murder. I always used to joke with my roommates that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But all that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. When the Fire Nation attacked. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between 1 and 2 in the morning, and I was walking near a police patrolled park quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight, with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was most nights, was completely empty. I went down a short side street in order to loop back down my apartment when I first noticed him. At the far end of the street, on my side, the was heck? the silhouette of a man dancing. It was a strange dance, similar to a waltz, but he finished each box with an odd forward stride. I guess you could say he was dance walking, headed straight for me. Mm -mm. Deciding he was probably drunk, I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass me. The closer he got, the more I realized how gracefully he was moving. He was very tall and lanky and wearing an old suit. He danced closer still until I could make out his face. His eyes were open wide and wild, head tilted back slightly looking off at the sky. 
His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. Between the eyes and the smile, I decided to cross the street before he danced any closer. Mm -hmm. I took my eyes off of him to cross the empty street. As I reached the other side, I glanced back and then stopped dead in my tracks. He had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street perfectly parallel to me. He was facing me but still looking skyward, smile still wide on his lips. Uh. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. I started walking again but kept my eyes on the man. Mm -hmm. He didn't move. Once I had put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch uh -uh. the sidewalk in front of me. Dummy. The street and sidewalk ahead of me were completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he had been standing to find him gone. <gasps> For the briefest of moments, I felt relieved until I noticed him. He had crossed the street and was now slightly crouched down. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell for sure due to the distance and the shadows, but I was certain he was facing me. I had looked away from him for no more than 10 seconds, so it was clear that he had moved fast. I was so shocked and I stood there for some time, staring at him, and then he started moving toward me again. He took giant, exaggerated, tiptoed steps, as if he were a cartoon character sneaking up on someone, oh my gosh. except <gasps> he was moving very, very quickly. Oh, run! I'd like to say at this point that I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray or cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. I just stood there, completely frozen, as the smiling man crept toward me. Dummy! And then he stopped again, about a car length away from me, still smiling his smile, still looking to the sky. It's the Joker. When I finally found my voice, I blurted out the first thing that came to mind. What I meant to ask was, what the f*** do you want, in an angry, commanding tone. Mm -hmm. What came out was a whimper. W what the f***? <laughs> Regardless of whether or not humans can smell fear, mm -hmm. they can certainly hear it. I heard it in my own voice. That only made me more afraid. But he didn't react to it at all. He just stood there, smiling. And then, after what felt like forever, he turned around, very slowly, and started dance walking away. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Not wanting to turn my back to him again, I just watched him go, until he was far enough away to almost be out of sight. Yeah, why don't you run? And then I realized something. He wasn't moving away anymore, nor was he dancing. I watched in horror as the distant shape of him got bigger and bigger. He was coming back my way. He was coming back my way, and this time he was running. <gasps> I ran too. I ran until I was off the side road and back onto a better lit road with sparse traffic. Hurry up! Looking behind me then, he was nowhere to be found. Uh -uh. The rest of my way home, I kept glancing over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smile, mm -hmm. but he was never there. I lived in that city for six months after that, and I never went out for another walk. There was something about his face that always haunted me. Uh -uh. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look uh -uh. high. He looked completely and utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. Ah! The smiling man! <laughs> Would you think? It was cool. Yeah, I like the idea. It was not cool. It was scary. Ah! It's creepy. Smiling man. He's out there smiling and running after you and dancing, doing the waltz on the street. It's not good. What if it was a cop undercover trying to warn people not to walk alone in the middle of the night? That cop needs to be fired. I mean, that's a crazy cop. I mean, geez, at least go to a donut shop and, you know, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Now, there may be some people who disagree with me. I give it a 10, all right? That creeped me out. It wasn't like, like, ah! scary, but like, it creeped me out. So, you know, I give it a poop my pants. Eh. Oh my gosh. I'd give it a, like a five and a half. A five? A five? Are you kidding me? Girl, that's like one of my favorite ones. You can at least lie to me and be like, oh, I give it a nine and a half. Okay, I give it a nine and a half. Girl, you need to get <laughs> that out But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give the video a like because it's going to really help out the channel.
And if you haven't subscribed to Sarah, go ahead and subscribe to her and let's get her to 200K. Yeah. We posted a new video on her channel, so just click that first link in the description below and check it out, because all the cool kids are doing it. But yeah, that's it. Make sure to cop that merch. Yeah, we got it in white. Oh yeah. White like my personality. But thank you guys again for watching, and remember, don't investigate. We're going to see you in the next one. Peace.